hi and welcome back to my channel so as you probably seen before i'm studying i'm studying it so i'm typical like, guy from the industry not yet in the industry actually uh, so belly overweight uh, you know complete disaster plus ugly bear anyway i have a lot of projects to do tonight so i i got myself a coffee and uh, I just have some thoughts about McDonald's. It's uh, one of the basic food for students. But interesting thing, very interesting thing is in the country where I come from, when you meet a girlfriend, when you pick up a girl, doesn't matter, bar or library, and if you, she asks you, like, oh, where can we go? You say, Oh, maybe we can go for lunch to McDonald's. Then she would say, oh, yeah, let's go to McDonald's. And uh, <laughs> funny thing is, uh, maybe one year ago I've been uh, I've been in Poland. Maybe more than one year. Actually, I've been in Poland uh, and uh, I used to date with, with, uh, with very nice girl. And... Uh, I told her like let's go to have a lunch or dinner in a restaurant. I, I I chose a decent one, and the the town where I come from doesn't offer many good restaurants. It's like a hundred twenty thousand uh, people town. So uh, actually, it's a city. It's a district city. It's Opole called, and uh, well, she wasn't happy to hear that. Then I mentioned, so what? Maybe you want to go to McDonald's? Yes, yes, let's go to McDonald's. So, in Ireland, in Netherlands, or in uh, Western European countries, if you met a girlfriend, if you met a girl, and uh, ask her to go for lunch to McDonald's on the first date, there will be no more dates. But, if you go to Poland, and uh, you ask them, look what was the reaction. This is an advert from McDonald's Poland. It was shot on the street. And they've been giving away the coupons. Not for the free meals. It was just discount coupons to McDonald's. As you can see, they are printed in the paper. And uh, in some cases, you can download them. Look at them, I am so happy. Yes, man, McDonald's, 50% off. Unbelievable, unbelievable! Look at this guy. It it was the it was the the best day in his life. Look at it. Look at it. Fifty percent, sometimes even more than fifty percent. I have a taste for a Mac. Download. Uh, okay, so this is very interesting thing. And uh, recently. Uh, one of my uh, friends from uh, childhood he's celebrating uh, first year of marriage with, with his girl a very nice couple and uh, he posted on the Facebook photo from McDonald's and I asked him why why you choose McDonald's to you know for a place is that the place where you met or I said, no, 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 man. He said like this. Once a month, I have to go. I prefer to go to decent restaurants. And the second reason of that he went to McDonald's was that they serve now special once a year festive editions. This one, man. So I decided to, to give it a try. I wouldn't... Uh, Invite my girlfriend to McDonald's to celebrate uh, whatever we have to celebrate. But uh, if people are doing it, I have to check if the taste is good. It's festive menu, and uh, we have today fifth day of Hanukkah. I think it's fifth day of Hanukkah, and the Christmas is coming. So. 
it should be interreligion, you know, interreligion. So for all people from all the races. Let's see how it should look. Yeah. This is the meal. What can we see? Irish beef burger with uh, sweet cure bacon rashers. It's not halal and not kosher, so as we can see, it's not for everyone. Black pepper cheese slices, red onion rings, olive oil and creamy black pepper mayo in toasted bun. Look at this, man! Look at this. Price? They will be very good. Can they be hot? Now let see. Disgusting. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Sweet cube bacon and cheese. And so, if you are very religious, you actually shouldn't uh, eat this stuff. But if you are 100% Irish guy, atheist, Christian, or you don't mind eating uh, bacon, you just have to try it. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, we have the sauce, we have some onions, a bit of lettuce. The cheese is a very small piece of cheese, not like on the photo. Actually, there should be two and I, I can see here only one. Again, yeah, nothing under the bun. Very good, man. Let's see. Let's see. This is the celebration of festive time, and for many people, this is the first date meal. Mmm. 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 Actually, it's good, but it, it's a bit dried out. Mm. Mm. Very good stuff, man. It's overpriced. It costs like 30% more than usually. I, I think it's available only in Ireland anyway. So if you come here somehow for the Christmas and you got bored of the Irish beef stew and uh, fish soup and Irish beef stew and fish soup then you can pick up this one in McDonald's pretty nice packaging well I can use this occasion to wish all my viewers happy Hanukkah and uh, Merry Christmas and please don't take your girlfriends or partners to McDonald's for celebrations maybe add 5 euro more and go to a restaurant that's only my opinion thank you for watching and take care